Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Uh, welcome back. I snuck upstairs, right? You know, because it's my lunch break. But check this out, guys. Do you see that deck? I don't know if you can see it. But God dog it, this is Christmas in January, okay? Christmas in January for my collective. I've been waiting for this deck. But what happened was because of all the delays and stuff with Christmas and the postal service and everything, everything's been delayed, guys. But this here, guys, this is the magic of the Divine Masculine. Can you see? Can you see? Okay. And I'm, um, I'm working on a Divine Feminine one. Okay. And she will be the Lioness. Her card will complement his card. So basically, guys, the Divine Masculine is, because I know a lot of people say, that's my divine masculine, that's my man, that's my this, that's my that. You know, we coined them, the divine masculine. However, if we really look at the divine masculine and divine feminine, I'm looking for my mouse, guys. If we really look at them, it's a connection where two souls aren't awakened at the same time. It's like a runner and a chaser. It's usually the woman is chasing the guy, and then, and then it goes in reverse. And then when the woman's not chasing him, then all of a sudden he can feel that energy and he'll reverse that and then he'll chase her. But what happens is usually the divine feminine is awakened to this connection before the divine masculine is, right? So it takes the divine masculine a little bit longer to awaken to this connection. For one, they don't believe the shit. For two, they're scared of it. And three, it's just the, the connection's crazy. So guys, this is that deck. So we're going to be able to find out how he's feeling about you, this and that, what space he's in and everything. So I'm going, I'm running, I'm running fast with my mouth, guys. Because this is a 78 card deck with a lot of wording. Mm -hmm. Right? This is going to be your masculine, guys. So I'm just going to give you some cards and then I'm going to do a reading, okay? All right. So Magic of the Divine Masculine. Okay. He says, you are my love. I don't know if you can see the inside. The inside image would be the same. It's basically a gentleman's suitcase, his bag. It has his phone, his tie, um, charger, stuff like that, date books, stuff like that in there. He says, you are my love. He goes, uh, the divine masculine must embrace both energies in order to build empires for him and his divine feminine. So if he's ever in that space, he needs to know, you know, I'm not even going to do that right now. I'm just going to read the cards, and then when I do a reading, I'll break it down. Okay. If his mind is rooted in competition and separation, he will not become whole within, and hence never reach the level of consciousness necessary to build his empire in 3D. Okay. A man rooted in competition will never create, but rather take away from others, hence making others suffer, hence making himself suffer. Nothing will ever be enough. He thrives to have more and more. Notice that his desires are purely external factors, more money, more fame, more attention. And that's when he needs to awaken. If he's still in that space, he's not in the divine masculine energy. Okay. His courage is not meant to be poured into a knight in shining armor scenario. As the divine masculine knows and always has believed that the divine feminine can save herself. He has to trust his own intuition, his divine feminine. Her connection to the universe is much stronger than his own. It is all but a matter of surrendering to the universal flow, obeying the universal laws, setting intentions, and detaching from any specific outcome. Let me see what else we got. I'm awakening to this journey. I see it now. He also desires to solve problems for the divine feminine especially when those problems play to his natural strength, ability, and skills. Trusting yourself to know exactly what to do and when to do it. Self-loathing or doubt. Let me see what else we got. He notices injustice and works hard to, to balance all unfairness that he sees. The divine masculine throws away the weakness, strength paradigm, par paradigm and instead moves towards a whole, a role of protector, of guardian over the one he loves. So he's more of a protector. Together as a couple, they are able to manifest instantly what it is they want. As long as he follows his purpose, as long as he won't let anyone distract him, distractions are everywhere in the 3D reality. But a man who is firm in his energies and his purpose can shrug them off with a smile. He accumulates strength not to make at a grab at power, 
but rather so that his cup overflows and he's able to protect himself and those around him. Let's see. Okay. As he moves towards his divine feminine, he's also pursuing her. This is the ultimate divine masculine move. He knows what he wants and he goes for it with his all with all of his heart. Let me see. A divine masculine would never take growth opportunity away from a divine feminine. When that growth is something she personally desires, that will help her reach her goals. The wonderful side from an energy of proving struggling, achieving to prove worthiness, and feeling fear of not being loved or enough. Confident but not arrogant, and adventurous but not reckless. DM specifically may feel a slight clash of energies. There is a need to learn how to have faith. DF, you feel attachment to your divine masculine and have full faith in this union. Trust me, believe in me, believe in us, please. He may be second guessing himself, especially as he reacts to the feminine. He may even be second guessing the connection. A fully bodied divine masculine will always communicate his boundaries and words. Divine masculines who are still healing and working on themselves may communicate their boundaries through other methods of nonverbal communication. The divine masculine's protectiveness extends beyond his divine feminine and to others as well, including children, animals, and other divine masculines. He accumulates strength, not to make a grab at power, but rather than to save his own cup that overflows. Ooh, I think I made that one twice. Okay, he is not easily manipulated and does not return vulnerability with more vulnerability just for the sake of it. He instead offers vulnerability when it is right for the connection. Mm, he's a mess. Ooh, when he's ready to introduce you to people who matter most and is equally eager to meet your friends and family, he has no intentions of going anywhere. Wow. Respectful. If a man truly does love you, then he's going to show you and respect you as well. However, if a man loves you for what you are able to do for him, then you probably aren't going to get the same level of respect that you're looking for in return. Ooh. He wants you to know his family and friends. He's proud to be with you and wants his family to fall in love with you too. He can play around. He can play around you. That's why if he's joking with you and in good spirits around you, he's likely more interested than you realize. Hmm. He wants to take care of you. When he puts in the effort to comfort and reassure you, he's saying, I love you, in both word and in deed. He touches you in public. When he starts offering you the hugs and cuddles you crave with no expectation of sex, he wants to serve you with physical touch, not use it just to get what he wants. He compromises. He's leading with his heart instead of his head. Selflessness is one of the many important early signs of a good relationship that's blooming. He's always in communication with you. When you become a very present part of his day, even when you're apart, it's one of the many signs he is falling for you. He's emotionally attracted to you. This is one of the signs he is falling for you. Since this illustrates, he feels he can openly communicate and be himself fully. He treats you with respect, and your guy values your opinion, compliments your character, celebrates your compliments, pays attention to details, and even accommodates your quirky habits. He's invested. He is practical and focuses on schedules, tasks with ease. He loves putting plans to ideas and excels at execution. The divine masculine uses logic and rationality to ground dreams into reality. The divine masculine leaves behind the winner-loser paradigm and trades it for courage. The divine feminine can dream of the adventures and the divine masculine will make it happen for the two of them together. The divine masculine likes to do simple things with the people he loves, including his divine feminine. He takes pleasure in surprising his divine feminine with new experiences. He expresses through actions. The Divine Masculine is meant to lead these conversations. He is not easy manipulated and does not return vulnerability. Mm. He will invest in her growth. He will look for ways to take more responsibility of her well-being, health, safety, finances, and growth. 
the divine masculine shares himself of his divine feminine. No topic is off limit, and he is able to speak his true mind to her. Courageous and, and action oriented, adventurous, giving and providing, vulnerable and grounded, responsible and protective. He is taking responsibility for his own life, his decision, his divine feminine partner, his family, and his business. Remember, the universe is providing you with everything you want to create. Faith and trust in the universe. They have a great chance to combine their forces together under one flag, the divine feminine and the masculine together. He has to know he is going his purpose and show the way. But without listening to his divine feminine within and outside, he won't move or be moving forward without her. He calls the shots, builds the empire, yes. But without his partner, he would not be able to create anything of significance. A man being the divine masculine must, by all means, embrace his divine feminine partner. Ooh, adventure is simple. And the divine masculine likes to do simple things with the people he loves. Ooh, there is no stronger sign of a budding relationship than when a man wants you to meet his parents or his siblings or his best friends. He has replaced I with we. When he's got a future with you on his mind, he's already decided that he has no intention of letting you go. All right, guys. This is our divine masculine right here. This is our divine masculine right here. Hey, Masky. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is the new deck, guys, for the people that purchase this deck. Or if you just want this deck for yourself, uh, you don't have to know Tarot to have it. But you can have it, you know, to pull the energy of your man if you want. But all my decks can be ordered on Etsy. I haven't listed this one yet. I will list it hmm, within the hour because I have to take pictures of it, upload it, put it on Etsy, script it, all that. It's a whole nother, it's a whole nother deal over there. But when it's up, it's up. And Mystic, Mystic Beauty, if you see this message, actually I'll email you. Do not purchase this deck, mama. Don't purchase this deck. I'm going to send it to you, okay? For all that you've been doing for me, I'm sending you this deck. All right. Mystic Beauty, I know they're going to tell you. <laughs> if not, I'll be emailing you. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. See you later, sis. Look, I already adopted, I already adopted Mystic. See you later, sis. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.